Good morning, dear students. I hope all are doing well. In today's class, we are going to get an essay topic. Okay? Please take your copies, you can write the topic. The most important thing in Olympics games is not win, but to take part just as the most important thing in life is not the triumph but to study. The essential thing is not to have being on board. Struggling, who are fighting 
to be happy, to be successful, to be winners in life. Okay, so that part is even now meaningful. The unfortunate thing is that some of us we become happy when we are successful and we become upset when we lose. Some people they manage an equilibrium. They are neither bothered about success nor bothered about losing. There are some people who are bothered about success and if they are not successful, it affects their life very badly. They lose control over their life. We even see some people, they commit even suicide. Okay? Why? Because they do not have this balancing system. So, this sentence has a lot of meaning in our life, even today. Okay? Then, taking part is fine. Taking part is more important. To get the chance, to be part of a great event, to be part of a great experience in life, to be part of a great situation, a reality in life, is more important than becoming a winner there. See, think of a marathon. Hundreds of people compete in that. Those people who are competing, we who watch them running, everyone knows there is only one winner. Everyone knows that there is only one winner. Only one to be winning. But they take part. Why? For the sake of taking part in an important event. For the sake of becoming part of an important event. So that's how this becomes important. Then next one is encourage the spirit of sportsmanship. Okay. Sportsmanship is not the spirit that is there only in sports. It has to be there in life also. What is the sportsman spirit? Joyfully take part with the hope to win. But not to lose heart even if you lose. Still continue to struggle. Still improve. And then one day become successful the winner. So that aspect you can mention very well. And don't forget whenever you write these points, if you have some small examples, you can add with it in the same paragraph, which will explain your points much better. Then he plays for the game's sake. He plays for the game's sake. Now, if, if a decision is taken, 
taken, like in the case with the referee's decision, the umpire's decision. Sometimes it may not be the way we thought. Sometimes it may not be in our favor. Yet, the team members, the players, decides to follow it for the success, for the happy ending, for the enjoyment of the game. Suppose if we disobeys, suppose a club is created, sometimes we have seen even, see even in international matches, what happens? That leads to chaos and troubles later on. So, one has to accept the decision of the world. Wins without fire and loses without gain, gaining, groaning. Now, I told you this, okay? That when you win, you are not too proud. Now, when you lose, you are too disappointed. Next, no unfair means. There are people who want only success in life, who want only victory in life. What do they do? They use unfair means when they have a doubt that they might lose. Okay, they may not win. Then they use unfair means taking drugs or steroids or things like that to boost their spirit, to boost their energy, to do more activity, which is an unfair wrong meaning, wrong method, and they try to become successful. And we have had histories where later when it is discovered, when it is proved that they have used this kind of drugs or steroids while competing so that they became successful. They have been asked to return those medals to the authorities losing their name. So these are some of the points that you can discuss based on this and you can write your essay. That's all my dear friend. Thank you.